this is the insert data so this is insert data we can update it this is update function this one is a retrieve function this is a retrieve function and this is a delete function welcome to another episode of windows applications today i will discuss how to insert data into sql server how to update how to delete how to retrieve data from sql server using windows applications so let's get started first from the toolbar add one text box this is the text box the label and add one new button change the text box name and table name from property name and text box name like this txt name and add one drop down box which is combo box so let's say this is occupations teacher cudnt occupations change the bot name and add one grid view then we can reach a variety of web data from SQL Server. Before add a grid view, we can design our from let's do it like this. Is a split? So So now it looks good. So you can put it here. Registration four. Change the font size. Very good design. So everything ready? Just change the grid view name. So double click into submit button. So here we have to write a program. And um, in the meantime, I'll show you how to create a skill server. So let's open a skill server management studio. This is SQL Server Management Studio. Here I'm using 2008. So I'll connect it to my server. Let's create over here. This is my database, test database. So let's create one SQL table ID. ID should be begin. And auto increment. Increment by one by one and then start from one zero one. And the name should be Barker. Form and occupation. And log time. This is the date time, yeah, dates. so that's automatically take database time and add a status integer value and the default value is one. Save it TBL. Crazy. 
this is our table name. This is my new database table. So database is already. We have to connect to Windows application to SQL Server. So, so first of all, you have to open application configuration file. So write one connection string here under configurations. It's something like this. This is a connection string name and data source because I am using here local data which this one my local data which that's why is local. You can use a dot instead of local like this or local or your PC name. And this one, my database name here. Look at that here. This is my database name. And this is a user ID. If you use Windows uh, authentication, so you can follow Windows authentication connection strings. In that case, you don't need to supply user ID and password. And this is a password. Okay, so connection string is ready now. Now uh, we have to use this connection and strings uh, inside could be behind. So there are a lot of way to use connection strings. You can start in the Google how to use connection strings. So this is my connection strings. Either I can use connection strings inside the code or I can use configuration using configuration manager. Connection strings with configuration manager. Now here I'm using flat connection strings. Okay. Okay, now write the code here inside the submit button. I'll show you again here. This is my submit button. Double click and write the code here. First, I'll show you how to insert data into a skill server. So, this is a simple SQL connections code. So, this is the SQL connections. So we already connected with the SQL server and SQL command. Here I am using a stored procedure. In that case, we have to create one stored procedure. Either you can use a stored procedure or you can use a, a SQL command text. So now first I will show you only a stored procedure and later I'll show you how to use a common text in the real raw SQL query inside the code behind. First of all, we have to create one stored procedure. Let's go how to create one stored procedure. So this is a stored procedure, stored procedure name. Here, we have to insert data into test user table, insert name, phone, occupations, let's say, and values. So it's created. So this one, our stored procedure name. Copy the stored procedure. Insert. And then here is a parameter, one parameter, and another one is occupation. So here, pause name text box like this. And uh, Text phone and last one each. We can change it here. This is operations and text. That's it. And after successfully done, we can show here one message. Let's run the applications. So it's successful. Wow, it's working. Let's see. Wonderful. See here are my bellows. If I use one 
wonderful. So insert data is working. So we have to retip data here. Right away, I will show you here how to retip data inside the data grid view. Okay. To retip applications, uh, to retip those data, uh, I want to create another S2 procedure. So create, I already created S2 procedure. You can see here from the programs S2 procedure and this one, so insert test data. Insert test data. So now I'll change another one is data bind test. Order by one descent. So another is to procedure created. Okay. So let's create a one a function here. Of the whole to procedure. Copy the new to procedure name. Very easy programming. Let's see. This is a data table. This is a data retrieve as to procedure. And I create one data table and it's displaying into data list view. So after successfully done, you can call here or we don't need any message. So run this applications by default is is displaying. One minute I can remove some options here. And by default, why is showing because of I call here get data initially. If I remove this one, it will not show data by default. But I want to show data by default. Okay, so here is by default is showing. So let's insert a new data. Right away is displaying. Wonderful. Beautiful. One thing we can do it here, we can change the fully select mode. So here's a full row selection. This nice. Okay. Uh, another thing I can add right away after successful insert, we can clear that. Let's say text name, text equal to a string, and so right away it will remove text box data. Now I'll show you how to update. For that, we have to create another store procedure. So create one new store procedure. Update. I'm just here skipping my video and later on ready I'll show you. So this is my new update store procedure. So run this execute this one so successfully created okay so let's do it here i'll create another uh, method copy the store procedure So here I just 
authors a little bit data higher id so we have to update only one data in a time so higher update where data id equal to id so here we have to pass also id So here we have to get a unique ID from uh, data grid view. So go click here data grid view and click events and find cell click. This is a cell click. Double click here. So find cell click. Uh, we can write here code a small. So we can write here one. Uh, parameter id and then id so on click we can write here btn submit text equal to update update rows the ID this is how it work start radiant yeah so ID so here I just alter a little bit I just change a little bit uh, code inside the button submit button if submit button text submit then it will insert otherwise it will be update so call update function here add one id level and uh, remove so here the right away can say id tag will to read your data id so id i have here id number that will be easy to update so now our update function is ready let's run this one click now it's empty the new let's do one small thing is select here an order tab order one two three four that's fine So here now it's coming to have order. Move on. Okay. Still we can insert new data. So one or seven. But here one thing we miss, we have to automatically fill up this part. Let's do it. So this is the row number. Number two. And number three. Right away is fixed. Let's run this application is clear here. So the manager. Right away selected, it's fine. It's updated. Fantastic. So now one thing left, we have to do how to delete that. Very easy. First of all, we have to create another query for delete. So, so this is the delete procedure. Just we have to 
call one parameter which is ID. So it's a right now. That way, you can add one button here, delete button or edit button. That will be good. So here under the initial, under the page load, I just add one delete button. And so click, I do a little bit of update here. If button click, delete button, then we'll execute delete. And else we will be update the display update informations that information into text box to update so let's create one update method then i have to call it here okay so uh, this is a delete uh call us to procedure so this is a delete is to procedure um call under grid view button let's see how it work so it's it's working very good actually and so we can call right away here read function this one or this one let's see how it work I call Okay, so both is working. So everything's working fine. Thank you, thank you very much. So I'll show you again. This is the insert data. So this is the insert data. We can update it. This is update function. This one is retrieve function. This is a retrieve function and this is a delete function. So thank you very much. Next time I'll show you report beer the rest of the things so please subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to learn c sharp applications using sql server or whatever any kind of c sharp applications any kind of windows.net related course please stay with us subscribe our channel thank you very much have a great day